Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're heading to Cochrane, Ontario. Right when you enter the town, you are greeted by this 36 foot polar bear statue located right beside the Cochrane sign. The polar bear's name is Chimo, which means be welcome or we are friendly in Cree. After taking some pictures at the sign, we drove 4 minutes to the famous Canadian polar bear habitat of Cochrane. The Canadian polar bear habitat is a registered non profit charity with a mission to promote the long-term sustainability of the polar bears through education, research, and tourism. There are three bears located in the habitat. Their names are Henry, Ganook, and Inukshuk. More information about the bears can be found at the front desk. The habitat consists of four different enclosures, the Arctic enclosure, the Baffin enclosure, the Davis enclosure, and the Chukchi enclosure. All three bears are rotated around these enclosures every day. The habitat has a total area of 27 acres and the five enclosures cover a total area of 24 acres. Located in the main building of the habitat is a small vintage snowmobile museum. This museum has hundreds of snowmobiles that you should definitely check out if you're going to the polar bear habitat. Along with the museum, there is a heritage village which is a small representation of how people of Kanda were living back in the day. After that amazing experience at the habitat, we checked into the Station Inn for the night, which is right beside the Ontario Northland Railway Station. We definitely recommend the Station Inn for anyone staying in Cochrane. The next day, we boarded the Ontario Northland Polar Bear Express at 8.30 a.m. The Polar Bear Express is a train that takes passengers to Musoni, Ontario, also known as the Gateway to the Arctic. Musoni, Ontario is one of the two twins in the far north of Ontario, along with the municipality of Moose Factory. The train ride is about four and a half hours long, and for the most part, the scenery is kilometers upon kilometers of boreal forest with the occasional body of water. However, along the ride, the train passes through Otter Rapids Dam and over a tall bridge which is about a kilometer long. The train only stops in stations in Cochrane and Musoni unless there are some scheduled flag stops along the way. The Polar Bear Express runs either 5 or 6 days a week depending on the season with an adult round trip fare of $118. Visit the Ontario Northland website for more information about the Polar Bear Express and we'll leave a link in the description. At around 1.30, we arrived at Musoni, Ontario. As we got off the train, we were greeted by one of our friends that lives in Musoni. Once you arrive, you have about a 3 hour window until the train leaves back to Cochrane. You can stay in Musoni as there are several options in terms of accommodations such as lodges, guest houses, privately owned suites and campgrounds. But we found 3 hours was more than enough time to explore the town as it is fairly small. Musoni has a completely different environment than the rest of Canada. The town has dirt roads, only stop signs a few stores, the closest hospital is in Moose Factory and the town can only be accessed by train and plane. We made our way towards the Moose River Dock which is around a 10 minute walk from the station. Our friend arranged two boats to be waiting at the dock. Each boat cost around $300 or so. One boat carried 8 of us and took us along the Moose River to Moose Factory. Moose Factory is a community in the Cochrane District. It is located on the Moose Factory Island near the mouth of Moose River, which is the southern end of James Bay. 
Built in 1847 to 1850, it is the last surviving fur trade officers dwelling in Canada and the oldest building in the James Bay area. This boat ride really showed us the residents in the area experience on a day-to-day -day basis. This ride took us about an hour and a half as we got to see James Bay. Another option is the Arctic Boat Tour which takes you up to Hudson's Bay. It's about a 3 hour ride. Unfortunately, we didn't have the time to do this expedition on our trip to Musoni. Some of the things you can do is go on a boat ride along Moose Factory. We'll make a separate video about this experience, but for now, this was the adventure in a nutshell. We also hear that moose, bears, and seals are very common there as well, but unfortunately we didn't encounter any animals. In the winter however, there are polar bears that cross the river, and it is a very common occurrence. If you plan your visit in the winter, you can walk or drive on the frozen Moose River. Then we boarded the Polar Bear Express and headed back to Cochrane. We left Moosney at around 4.30 and arrived in Cochrane at 10 p.m. That was our trip from Cochrane to Musoni and back. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope this video helped you plan your visit to Musoni. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. And if you want to see our other travel videos, check out our travel playlist and we'll see you next time.